and we're driving down the road and Annie and Connor are talking about the situation and Annie begins to relive that moment when she woke up. Well, uh, what we've got here, we've got one family with uh, two kids and it's kind of a unique little story that we've got that we thought would kind of fit good and uh, kind of we'll get some people to really look in it at, uh, you know, Connor's side of the story as, as well as Andy's. So I'm going to let uh, Heidi tell a little bit about what's going on <laughs> and uh, what, what exactly happened on this day. Uh, February 1st, I believe there was an ice storm and the kids had been locked inside for a few days because school was, was shut down. Randomly, they'd go out and hunt their little birds and they got bored and um, the, the power went out this specific day and um, that meant the washer and dryer weren't working and that's where their snow clothes were. So um, the power came on later on that day and they were ready to go out bird hunting. And so we went and dried their clothes and got them dressed and um, they were out the door. And um, they're always outside. I hardly ever have to worry about them. But, um, they went around the brush line and there was a, a power line that had fallen from the branches that everything was just weighted down with ice so bad. And um, Annie saw a little pile of leaves on smoking, smoldering, I guess. And um, they couldn't see that the line was hanging down. It, it was in the brush, in the brush line coming out underneath it. So she reached down and grabbed that um, power line and before Connor could really do anything, she had a hold of it and he went and grabbed her hand and it blew them both back. And um, he saved her life that day and he came in and got me and told me that his sister had been tased and uh, <laughs> bit different. yeah and, um, that I didn't know what he was saying at first but we took off out the door and she was laying there unconscious and I scooped her up and um, we headed to the house and um, I got about halfway Hunter. and uh, dropped to my knees because I was barefoot on rocks, a little out of shape and Annie was heavy <laughs> and um, she rolled out onto the ground and um, that's when I heard her moan and I knew she was still there. So I quickly scooped her back up another shot of adrenaline and we went and got in the car and my mother-in-law drove me to meet the ambulance on the highway and that was that was a crazy day we went to temple and then they um drove us straight to shriners hospital which was amazing and took really good care of us but connor actually only got away with a third degree burn on that thumb from grabbing her hand and Amazingly, that's yeah. crazy. Um, totally healed. Yeah, healed up really good. And um, <clears throat> Annie had seven exit wounds, her head, her shoulder, her thigh, her leg, and um, she only had one on this side. And then of course her hand, she um, had an amputation of those digits. So, but it's all fully healed. She's had lots of surgeries, had great therapist mm -hmm. and um, great people supporting her. So we're here today hunting with y'all now. That is awesome. Miss Annie, you have anything you want to say? Mm-mm. No? <laughs> no. What about Connor? No. We got the theme still. What are we going to sing? What about Dad? It's just a blessing that they're both still here, and uh, we really appreciate y'all having us here. Um, we owe everything to God, really, for them, too still being here with us mr jimmy jimmy is with jbm fishing he's been <clears throat> friends of ours for a while and uh when he told us the story i just felt like it would it would fit right along with what we were doing and uh i'm gonna let him kind of tell his side of the whole story of how he's known this family also well first off annie's amazing and the Longer family is amazing. But this young man here doesn't get the credit that he deserves because had it not been for his quick thinking 
and just a reaction, we wouldn't be hunting together today here with the family. So we can't thank Connor enough. Um, Annie and Connor and my little boy were in the pickup with me, October 31st. And we're driving down the road and Annie and Connor are talking about the situation. And Annie begins to relive that moment when she woke up. How can you do it and I can't do it, honey? That's what I want to know. How, why is it the women are always the strongest? Annie says, when I woke up, it felt like fire ants were stinging me all over the face. And then she paused and hesitated. She said, you know what I think that was? I think that was the hand of Jesus waking me up. That's awesome. So, and I think it was too. Oh, yes. I think yeah. it was too. What a special family. Thank you all so yes. much for coming and hanging out with us. Thank y'all. Yes, sir. Definitely. I know you get to visit with them on a daily basis. You want to tell them maybe who you are and what kind of what what your part of this family is? Yeah, I'm lucky enough. I had got to work with Heidi in the past um, as a therapist, and um, so I had heard what happened to Annie pretty soon on, and kind of kept in contact with Heidi throughout the whole thing. And um, I'm a pediatric occupational therapist, and so when Heidi said like, hey, we're coming back home from the hospital, will you be your therapist? I was like, absolutely, 100% on board. So I've gotten the pleasure to be able to work with her and get her hand and arm back to doing all her normal softball and hunting and all her fun things that she likes to do. Um, and then I, being the outdoorsy kiddo that she is, um, I feel like it worked out perfect because I'm also part of JMB's um, board and so yeah changing and so I immediately knew like she was gonna start as soon as she could start using her hand a little more functionally get her back outdoors doing her fishing and hunting and all that stuff so it's been really cool to have a front row seat to Annie and her journey of all of this and her strong personality she's had has been like inspirational to everyone really well, we can't we can't thank you guys enough for just letting us be a little part of this journey. It's uh, it's what we love to do. It's what we spend all year yes, sir. trying to raise money to to be able to get these kids out and and do things like this. And Jimmy, thank you very much for introducing us to them. My pleasure. Thank you for inviting us out. Um, I want to thank all of our sponsors. Uh, we've got tons of them. You guys know who you are. You don't do it for the recognition you do it because you know it's in your heart but i do want to thank mr michael bowles uh for letting us you know come out here and take over his house space or his lodge uh, and getting uh, everything set up with the ranch that we're hunting at uh i want to thank nico and alexis for coming down and doing all this you guys are really why we're here uh was, i just got the luxury i guess of being able to be a part of it and helping set it up and then you know you guys are one of the main reasons um uh, but kept you the special moments yes yes the special mm -hmm. moments that's it you know bagging dreams that's what it's all about yeah we're is that right so y'all gonna shoot something tomorrow yes sir. hey you know what dylan said it best earlier dylan made a great analogy Where we get to live we get to make memories through the eyes of these kids. You oh, said yes. it the other day. You said it in that instant, that child got to fulfill his dream through the eyes of his father. But right now, by watching these kids live their dreams, our dreams are being fulfilled. Yes, definitely. definitely. But I do have something I'd like to give to the kids. And uh, you know, it's just something we like to do for the families. You can pick which one you want. It's oh, wow. nice. Mm. <laughs> you think wrong, you think wrong, buddy. Oh, we got some shirts here for you guys. Awesome. Thank you so much. If you want to hold them up, show everybody your shirts. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you fish like a glove. So <laughs> We're like a hat. Yeah, it feels good. It looks good. It's a red and and too. Mr. Shane made y'all these. Let me hold your shirt while you open that present up. If it's candy in there, it's mine. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Um, oh, that's nice. Let's, Let's get them out. Let's check them out. Oh, those are so nice. Oh, that's oh, nice. nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, show it to them. You can't look Trust them. them. Hey, that's not how you spell Jimmy. Like <laughs> <laughs> Birthday present. It's like Christmas. Isn't it? Or Christmas, huh? Nice. Now, the most important thing that y'all could get is your good luck charm. Oh, you just, you just can't charm. break it. Oh, man, look. He knew all he was going to get one. Now, hey, remember, don't tug on it. I wouldn't. Thank, thank you. Thank you. That a boy. So much. Thank you all very much. Everybody. This is awesome. Folks, stay tuned. Tomorrow, what are we going to do? Find a big book. Kill a jackalope. Shoot a big book? Sure. Maybe. A jackalope. You can shoot. Tomorrow, get a jackalope. What are you shooting tomorrow? Uh, Spike? 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Girl, that's my kind of thing. It felt good today. Right. Shoot a point. Tell everybody stay tuned and give them a thumbs up. Tell them stay tuned. Them stay tuned and give them a thumbs up. <laughs>
Where do you like that? Like, where do you like Big Box? Is that a trail? What? Big Box. Big Box. Big Deer. Big Deer. Oh, you want to shoot a doll or you want to shoot a nice box? Nice doll. Let's go shoot a nice box. What do you think about that? <laughs> I like how it goes, yes sir, yes ma'am. <laughs> yeah. This is the first kid I've seen yeah. in a while. Yes sir. With manners. Very nice. He, de he deserves that, man. Yeah, he's a good kid. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go get you a little stand. Hey, see what we can do. This is pretty fun there. Thank you. <laughs> and it's going to get filmed. Yep, we're getting on film for you, and you maybe you could become a YouTube hunting star. What do you think about that? Awesome. You hold this for me? Sure. Hey. 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 Thank you. You excited? Yeah. See that big stand up there? You shoot a buck before? Yes, sir. Yeah. How big? Very nice. That's a big buck. Yeah, good one. All my buddies back home would die to shoot at eight point. <laughs> yes, sir. Where's back home? Man? Michigan. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, their deer just, they got a lot of deer, right? But they're just like smaller racks? Or... Yeah. We don't got a lot of mature bucks. Right. We got a ton of does. Like yes, a crazy amount. Like you guys down here in Texas, dude, it's like amazes me how many bucks you guys got. It's wild. He's still up. Here I missed and wounded. I still miss. I could go out today and miss a deer. Angry? Well, tell them your story. Tell them what's up. Pull your cap up so they can see. Tell them your hunting story, bro. Yeah. I wasn't here, so I didn't get to experience this. This morning. Tell them. Yeah. This morning we went out hunting. Where Annie missed her buck yesterday, 
that a big old nine point. Um, we we were hunting it this morning, and a big old ten came out, but he wasn't the shooter we were wanting. So we let him walk, and we had like twenty does, like three bucks, little ones, and then this evening we went to go drive around the property a little bit, and then. Mr. Shane told me to shoot a ram, and so I did. And the first shot I missed, but the second shot I smoked him. Smoked him. <laughs> what did he do? You walked about five yards? Five yards and piled up. Piled up. That's what you like <laughs> to see, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Come here. Put it in him. I hear. You put it in him. Good shot. <laughs> there you go, Bubba. Go ahead. You want to keep it? Pretty cool looking ram, too. Huh? It's yeah. going to be pretty. He's going to be pretty on my wall. I know that much. Not <laughs> Why don't any of the kids let me put them on my walls? I like yeah, animals. I walls. Well, I this wish this was my house. Put your hands under his horns instead of above them. You should have seen how good of a job she did on that hog. Yeah, I, I saw that. some little clip that, that... I seen it on her phone. That was... That was cool. Yeah. Hey. Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bullseye Annie. Bullseye Annie. So, we went down there to shoot a pig. And... I had to wait for like five minutes because I was nervous and um, I was, that was my first time actually not shooting it in a pen and it was out of a pen. So it was out in this field. So we sh we shot it, but we, I, had a I had to wait a couple minutes until I shot it and it kept on moving. So. Were you nervous? Did you wait because you were nervous? Or because I was nervous too. You were nervous? Yeah. yeah. So like I want to shoot it, but like it feels like I can't, and I'm scared that I'm gonna miss it because it looks it moves its head around. And it's a big target. Yeah, it's bigger than the bullseye. So if you can do that, you can do it. Yeah, go ahead and do the head is huge. You got this. like a deer right now. Girl, like straight down. Golly, Chad. You're so good at shooting. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty cool shot too. Oh, that's <laughs> oh. He dropped like a bad habit. You took your time and smoked up. Got another one. Second hog. You got buck fever and hog fever. Good job, girl. 
you hear that? Did you hear it? Is that all the air out of it? That's what I kicked that boot right there. <laughs> exactly. Oh. <laughs> Is it still moving? No, it, you squished it and so its legs just didn't know. That's awesome. Good job. That's a hell of a shot. Oh, yeah. That's straight, that thing went straight down. Yeah. It better from the run. Oh, no. Not with that shot. You could have hit that no better right there. Yeah. Right there, right here. Yeah, or right there. Mm. Right there, right there, or right there. Or in the eyeball. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Mr. Michael. Michael. Thanks, Mr. Hubert. Thanks, Thank Mr. Jimmy. They kind of like Mr. Jimmy, I think. <laughs> Mr. Dillon, Mr. Shane. Thanks, Mr. Dillon, Mr. Shane, Mr. Stacy. Uh, I wasn't <laughs> even Mr. here. Mr. Nico. Mr. Thank Nico. you, everyone. Alexis. Alexis. Yes. Pedro. 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 Especially Mr. Pedro. Especially <laughs> Mr. Pedro. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. All right, folks. We're kind of ending this weekend up, or this week, I guess. Uh, we've had quite a few, quite a few hunts and a lot of action. We had a couple of kids earlier in the week, and then uh, had these two little rascals. Uh, we want to start off by thanking, you know. Nico and Alexis for letting us be a part of this. This is just unbelievable. And then we want to thank mom and dad, Heidi and Josh, uh, for letting us be a part of these two little guys' journey. Well, did you guys have fun? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you guys do it again? Yes. You think you're going to get your I would do it rifle? over and over. Every single day you do it? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what I find. Whenever you get a kid involved, and you're doing things for the right reason, for the right people. Good things happen. Yep. And you can't stop. Yep.